What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be showing you a really helpful thing to do to boost your FPS for any game. Your your game performance, your game speed, everything combined. Alright. So to cut to the chase, you need to install driver booster. I will add the link in the description. All right, it's right here. So you wanna open it up once you get it. Let's wait for it to load. It is not a virus. I think as a virus scan on the website, but it is not a virus, so you do not need to worry. My computer has McAfee and I scanned it. And it's not a virus, trust me. All right. Now, um, I already updated all of my drivers, so that's why it says congratulations, all drivers are perfect. Blah blah blah. But this is what you would come up with once you open yours. If you already have all your drivers that are perfect, that's great. But if you do not, you're gonna have this thing scanning. So you're gonna have to wait for that to go to a hundred percent. It'll take quick, but mine's only at one percent right now because my drivers are perfect already. So there's really nothing to scan. So I'm gonna stop mine. You go all the way through with that. All right, and. Wait a second. Once you get to the page that I was just on but can't access right now, you don't need to upgrade. That's just for um, what's it called? You need to pay money for it. Just have like a better driver booster or whatever, but. This beta 4.0 is perfect, so. Alright, I'm not gonna run through this whole scan, but technically, all you need to do is once driver booster gets on, you do the scan, and once it's finished, you press update all after the scan. It's gonna have the button like I showed you a while ago, and then you update all, and it's gonna install and download and everything, and then you just need to reboot your computer, and everything is up to date and perfect and your gaming performance will increase a ton full alright well there's one step I'll show you one more you're gonna wanna go to start and find control panel alright now you're gonna wanna go to appearance and personalization and on this on the display menu find adjust screen resolution Let's wait for that. Now you're gonna want to go to advanced settings. Find it. If you don't have Windows like me, it might be anywhere around here. But you just have to find advanced settings. All right. Now this might get become the tricky part. You need to find your your um companies control center mine's the catalyst control center it's to configure displays and settings for your AMD GPUs whatever yours might be something else some option menu or whatever but you have to find a tab that's not color management or adapter or anything that's not the same as mine here all right so you're gonna open up that center Wait for it to load. All right, now you're gonna want to go to gaming. Oh, oh yeah, I have my system settings changed to the driver booster. So I didn't open this up for a long time. 
Alright, so now you're going to want to go to Gaming Performance and find 3D Settings. Alright. Alright, once you find that, yours is going to be around here on Balance, just so you do not want it on Quality unless you have a really good computer. Alright, so I recommend you do Optimal Performance it will boost your gameplay a lot alright so apply that alright um, just apply again alright um, this this would load now. Uh, okay, go to gaming, find map mapping. You're gonna want it to be all the way down to high performance and apply it. Map mapping. Uh, okay, just wait for it to apply for a second. Alright, now you can exit that, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, another thing would be Task Manager. If you're running a browser game or whatever, just go on Applications, you find, you right click on the application, which would be Google Chrome if you're on or whatever, and you go to Process, and then once you find the process, you right click it, set Priority to High. Alright, and that's pretty much it. I shared a lot of my helpful details with you, and uh, until next time.